Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea. In today's video, we are going to review the MAC Cosmetics and Patrick Star collaboration. I'm so excited. And we're also gonna talk about the Grand Illusion lipstick. Um, this is not part of Patrick Star's collection, but this is also a new release product that they had around the same time. So I just wanted to combine this video and talk about both products. So if you're interested in learning about Patrick Star's collaboration with MAC, or if you'd like to see how I did this look, please continue to watch. So I was excited to hear that Patrick Star was collaborating with MAC. Um, from rumors on the internet, it sounds like he has more coming out instead of just this uh, launch that came out. So I was able to pick up the Glam AF palette Which I love the name. I love it. I was torn because I wanted both palettes uh, But these are $32 a piece and at the time I could only pick up one or the other So I got this one because I felt like this palette had more color ranges that I could play with personally I've been kind of yeah, on warm palettes and both of his palettes are warmer toned um, but I really wanted to support Patrick Star and I love MAC so I had to pick this up even though it was a warm palette. It's MAC. MAC is always really good. The shadows are really blendable. Uh, you know you're paying for the quality. Definitely worth the $32 for this palette. Um, the lipsticks were $17. I believe and I think the lip pencils were around the same price and he also had lip glosses which I think were like $17.50 I believe um, and I just picked this up at my local matte counter they were available online uh, whichever and then the other product that I have on my lips is actually the MAC Grand Illusion liquid lipstick and this is the color space bubble which I love. It goes really well with my hair, um, but it's a really, really pretty shade. Overall, I wish I could buy more from the Patrick Star collection because I really loved everything about it. Like the packaging was so cute. Um, you know, you have a signature in the little foil print. I, I can't, I can't say more good things about this palette. And for me, I've been watching Patrick Star for a long time. Uh, he was one of the first boys I found who did makeup, uh, along with, you know, there's Manny and Jeffree Star that I also follow. But he, I felt, was the most inspiring boy makeup I found because he also promotes like plus size and being comfortable in your skin and makeup fits everybody and I just love his message I love what he brings I love the energy in his videos so of course I had to pick this up uh, and like I said I'm sad I couldn't get more to you know to support a youtuber that I really enjoy and a company that I think is really awesome now if you'd like to learn a little more about Patrick um, he does have his Cinderella story posted on his channel where he talks about how Mac actually gave him his first makeup shot they asked him to be a freelancer and um, you know he did makeup and then they also encouraged him, like his coworkers encouraged him to do his YouTube channel. So uh, I would definitely recommend checking that out just to get to know him a little more if you don't know the story behind it. But overall, if you're just a MAC fan looking to pick up some new colors, I would definitely recommend this palette. This is the Glam AF one. I would also recommend the other palette, but again, I only was able to get one of the two. Uh, he has a setting powder as well that I tried on the back of my hand and I loved it. Uh, that retails for $38. Uh, I was unable to pick that up as well. But the whole collection is great. If you have the money to drop on it, I would definitely, it's worth it. Um, his lipsticks that he had, I actually swatched them on my Snapchat. But they were really pretty. He had like a red toned one um, that was called Patrick Wu, I believe. And then he had Mama Star, which was like a more nude shade. And then there was a pink toned 
uh, lip, lip shade that I cannot remember the name. Now the lipstick pencils are actually pencils that I believe they already had in their color collection. And some of these shadows Patrick made and some of these shadows were already part of MAC. But if you have any questions about these products, please just let me know. You can comment below. Um, and if you like my look, stay tuned because I have a tutorial on how to do this halo eye look. And like I said during that tutorial, I think this would be a perfect New Year's uh, makeup to wear out. As you can tell, I already have my foundation on. So again, this is just an eye tutorial with this palette. So first off, I'm going to prime my lids with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. And I'm also going to take that down and around my eye. Just to prime the underside of my eye as well. From there, I'm going to take the Patrick Star Collaboration with MAC palette in a Glam AF. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which is Brule. No, this one's Brule. Sorry. This one is. Oh my god. I think that's what it is. Oh my god. I think that's what it's called. Again, I apologize. I'm bad with names. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just set my eye with this shade. From there, I'm going to take the shade Embark and I'm going to use that to build my crease. So we're going to do a halo eye with this look. So this is just going to be a crease transitional color for us. And MAC shadows blend really well. Uh, I really love the quality of the product. Their shadows are amazing. I haven't really ever encountered bad makeup from MAC. There's things I don't like to use from MAC, but that's only after I try the product, but it's because it's like it made me oily, because I have oily skin, it wasn't made for my skin type. Um, things like that. Never because it was a bad product. From there, I'm going to take that same shade and I'm just going to transition it down and around. Just buffing it out a little bit. From there, I'm going to move on to the shade called Saddle, this one right here. And we're just going to build that to form the halo eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the outer corner and the inner corner and then blend into the crease a little bit, but not extending over the brownish orange shade that we have on already. I'm going to take my Morphe M440 brush and I'm going to dip into the same color we're working with and I'm just going to get it more on my lid. And then I'm also going to take this color down and around our eyes 
like we did with the transitional color. From there, I cleaned off my Morphe brush with my color switch. So I just cleaned it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this first color we used to set our eye. And I'm actually gonna use that as our highlighter today. From there, I'm gonna go back in with my Lorac Behind the Scenes eyeshadow primer. And you only need a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just the middle of my lid. Like that. And I'm gonna do both eyes. Now what this does, this helps your shadow stick better but it also cleans up the area where you wanna put the halo, the part that's gonna make it pop in. So from there, I'm gonna go in the shade Brulee right here. I'm gonna apply that to the middle of my lid. like that. Now for me personally, I'm going to go in and I'm going to touch up the outer and the inner corners with that dark shade that we used before. And I'm just blending this all together. Next, I'm going to apply my liner and mascara. I'm not really going to do false lashes for this look. Uh, I have very sensitive eyes and I have allergies sometimes to glue so I'm just going to give my eyes a rest and I'm just going to go without. This would be a good look for New Year's actually. You could add some false lashes to it make it stand out a little more, but this would be great for New Year's. Holy winged liner. Now to get the next one to match. Now what I like to do is you can clean up your liner and how I do that, I normally have like a little bit of foundation left over and I will just go in and just buff it out. You can also use concealer, um, but just make sure you touch up your makeup in that area. Now, I did not pick up a lip shade uh, from Patrick Star's collection. I actually picked up the new Grand Illusion liquid lipstick, and this one is in Space Bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my lips. And here's the final look. Well, that is this video. I hope you enjoyed my review slash tutorial of the new Patrick Star MAC collection collaboration. Uh, if you liked it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time.